hey hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today we will talk about a very important topic that is uh, selenium highlighter okay so in selenium web driver whenever we are executing the code sometime we need to highlight the execution the test execution so what i'm trying to say that for example if you see this particular website headspace uh, okay so this is the website headspace.com slash login so this is the login page so now if you write a selenium piece of selenium code to handle this login page like email address password or the login button or any link so once you are done with your selenium code you will be executing the code right so during the execution you will be able to see that uh, it will first go to the email address then it will go to the password or however you want to write the code according to that your uh, execution will progress right but during the execution if you want to highlight the fields so what i'm trying to say that for example this this is the normal page of the login page right now if you see what difference can you see in this particular page you can see a highlighter right in the field in the email address field there's a highlighter with some color what is this color it's a violet color and it has a it has a border with green color so all this come under javascript so it has a border it has a background color so how do we achieve it in selenium web driver okay who can help in this case there is a new concept called javascript executor so why is it called javascript executor because all these are written in javascript so that javascript executor is an interface okay so that is used to handle this javascript in selenium web driver so let us see that concept now so as you can see i have written one uh, class called highlighter.java so this is the piece of code in order to uh, handle the browser okay this is the url i have written so now let me uh, convert it into a test method itself directly so let me import it so now let me, let me import this so what i'm going to do is so this is the website right this is the website so first of all i will go and inspect this particular email address field so this is the id of the particular email address field so id is email okay so now let me write the code driver dot find element by dot id okay so i'll provide the id here because i have a i have an id i don't have to write the export here because i have got the id here right this is the id now i'll be storing this in a web element variable so i'll just give it as email itself just a minute let me just try to like that let me import this basically with the help of this particular line i will be able to locate this particular email field but i also need to highlight this right with some color so how do we achieve it so for that we have as i told you that we have something called javascript executor that is an interface so now let me do one thing right javascript executor it is coming from selenium itself and javascript executor i can create an object reference for this okay. and i have to provide a reference to the driver javascript executor and let me give the reference to the driver okay so now i have a reference js so i can use this js dot so javascript executor provides certain methods okay it provides two methods so one of the method is uh, execute script js dot execute script so as you can see this is the method so i'm going to now provide the values for this particular method so basically i'm going to provide the arguments arguments of zero okay so apart from that i need to set the attribute values also because i need to deal with the the border and the background for that let me type dot and we have something called set attribute the butte okay so inside the attribute i have to provide the style because the border and background all this come under style okay. style so here i have to provide the background okay so background background is going to be any color i can just give uh, violet apart from the background i also need to give the border okay border of that particular text area so for that i'll type border and uh, so what px i'm going to give i'm going to just go with five pixel and maybe solid i'll give solid 
green i'll give okay i will put a semicolon here and i'll put this and here at last i have to provide the web element what is the web element because email i'm going to highlight the email field right so i have to use the email web element here so let me provide this and i'll put the semicolon here okay now let me expand this so this is the piece of code that you have to use now if i run this code now let us see if i can see the highlighted area or not okay now let me run the code let me click on run and you will be able to see the email field will get highlighted this time okay so this is going to launch the browser with the url headspace.com slash login so as you can see it is getting highlighted with the violet color and the border green solid green of four pixel so this is pass so what happens is here i have used the background color as violet that's why you are able to see the violet color here and also it has a border okay this is the border area that is of color solid green this is solid green okay so it is using four pixel okay so in case i want to change the color also i can give any color here i can use red yellow any color i can use here okay this is the way of highlighting any any field okay this helps in whenever you are showing a demonstration to your uh, colleague or your team that time it helps really well okay they can also see the execution wherever our execution is going that they can notice okay now what i can do is i can just pass some value here uh, email address field let me just type send keys i'm going to give hello abc direct jobmail.com i'm just giving some random email address here okay now if i run this code it's going to enter the email address so now if i want to do the same thing for the other fields like password login i can apply that as well so for that let me inspect this particular password field okay now let me first inspect this password field so let me find out this password's id this is the password okay i'm going to write the code for the password driver dot find element by dot id okay so i'm going to use the id value here password and i'm going to store this in a web element again and the web element i'm going to use it in the web element i'll provide it as a password okay so it's a password thing after this let me just copy this whole line and i'll put it here but here i am going to use instead of email i'm going to use the password web element because i'm going to highlight the password field so now if i run the code it is going to highlight the password field as well so now let me run the code so it is launching the browser with the same url now again so as you can see it has highlighted the password field as well it started with the email address and it has gone to the password field and it has highlighted that particular field also so similarly i can do it for this power password link as well as login login button and for this button or the link as well okay so now let me do one thing i'll go further and try to capture this also and also i'll show you about this particular element also okay so for that let me do one thing let me just again locate this login button so for that let me just click on uh login and then try to find out the x path so i'll quickly find out the x path from here okay so i'm going to go with uh, the login button now so for that uh, driver dot find element i'm going to use by dot x path okay so i'm not going to use id or name because it does not have id or name for this particular login button so i'm going to use the x path okay so let me just put it like that for now so we can modify this x bar also so for those concepts i'll be covering in a different uh, tutorial but i'm just going to use as it is now okay so let me store this in a web element this is going to be login and uh, let me use here. so here i'm going to again provide this particular line so here i'm going to use the login web element variable here so now this time it is going to highlight this this login button as well and let me also take this okay so for that let me go here and right click and let me okay this is a span type so let me do one thing copy x path and i'm going to use uh, span okay and i'm going to use x top 
start the file let me just start the file okay this is getting highlighted one of one now let me use this xpath and here web element so let me give start free and here driver dot find element by dot xpath so i'm going to provide the xpath and i'm going to use the same javascript executor attribute here for this web element as well okay so for this let me provide start free this particular web element okay this is for this element basically so now let me run the code so let me close this and i'll just show you how it actually highlights all the provided elements so it is launching the browser with the url so as you can see it is basically highlighting all the given elements so it has highlighted the login so it has not clicked on login because i have not used the dot click method here okay that's why it has not clicked on the login button and after that it has gone and uh, highlighted the start free trial because i have used the web element this locator this xpath for this particular start free trial as well okay and it has actually applied this particular script javascript with the help of execute script method okay so this is how we can highlight the web elements during execution and it helps in a big way whenever you are demonstrating or you yourself if you want to see the execution so you can always go and use the highlighter so let me do one thing let me just change the color of uh, this particular highlighter from violet i'll make it to yellow okay i'll just make it yellow this is going to background so let me use the I'll make it yellow you can also change the border if you want I'll just keep as it is as green with four pixels solid. Okay. Now I'll rerun the code and you can see the color difference now. From violet, it will become yellow. The background will become yellow. Yes. So as you can see, it has actually changed the color of the uh, text field. The highlighter color has been changed from violet to yellow because I have used a different color here. It's passed. And you can see this is the yellow color I have given, yellow color. Similarly, you can also provide your color, okay, whatever color you like that you can provide here and it will be highlighted as per your given color. I'll be creating a separate class. I don't have to keep on writing the JavaScript code for every field, okay. We just need to call the method. So I'll be creating one reusable method, okay, under my utility. So I'll be creating that class so that we can call that method the particular method and, and we can just provide the web element so for that i'm going to my uh, this package and i'm going to create a class so i'll give a name of the class something like helper so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to just provide this javascript uh, executor two lines of code okay so let me create a method for this public void i can just give like uh, element highlight okay so here I'm going to pass two parameters, uh, web driver, driver, okay, comma and web element, element. Now let me import both of them, okay, let me import web driver and this web element as well, okay. So now here I'm going to basically provide those uh, two lines of code that is uh, for my JavaScript executor, okay, so let me provide here and also i'm going to give the particular argument and attribute everything okay so here let me just provide because uh, i'm going to call it i'm going to pass it so let me just use this as element okay so this is ready now so this is the particular method okay i'm going to call it so what i'm going to do is in my highlighter.java class let me comment out all of this so here instead of just writing like that i'm going to call that method now so for, for that matter i'm going to remove these two lines of code so here i'm just i'm just going to call that particular method what is the method element highlight right so this is under my helper.java class so let me just type helper dot okay i have to make it as static static okay so now this can be called to this particular class as well element highlight can you see this element highlight method is getting populated here so i can use it and i can just pass the 
value here what i need i just want to pass the web element this is my locator this is for the email address field so i can just use it it's already there i'm just going to put the semicolon so now if i run this code it is going to basically do the same thing as what it did last time okay i think let me just rerun this code so as you can see it has highlighted that email field with the color whatever i have given in the helper class okay so here i have given this uh, the background is yellow this method has been called in this particular class okay because i am using this as a static uh, method of my helper class so this method has been called in this particular highlighted.java okay as you can see this is called here similarly i can just uh, let me uncomment all this Similarly, i can just uh, call the same method for this password login and start free uh, case as well so for that let me do one thing i'll just uh, remove this uh, this is not required so this this line is not required let me remove then here i'm going to call this method and i'm going to pass this web element okay so let me so put here and let me pass the web element so now if i run the code it is going to run and it will highlight those areas again okay so as you can see it has highlighted those areas okay as you can see all the fields email password login button and this start free trial also getting highlighted with the yellow color okay so this method basically is working whatever i have created separately as helper.java i have created on class element highlight and passed these two parameters one is driver and one is for the element and i have called this method inside this highlighter.java class so i don't have to keep on writing uh, this javascript executor this line each and every time wherever i need it okay so i can just simply call that particular method i can just reuse that particular method again and again so this way we can optimize our code and it is easy to maintain so this is the way we have to write the code so this is the concept about how to highlight the element the web element during the execution of your selenium code okay so that's all in this topic so please practice uh, if you are not familiar please practice it will come to you and uh, if you have liked the video please hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and i'll come up with a new topic thank you thanks for watching